Hello all my name is Krish Nayak and welcome to my YouTube channel. So guys in this video I'm going to talk about an amazing thing that has come up with from OpenAI that is Code Interpreter. Now, now I'll tell you guys the things that I'm learning I'm preparing so many different content probably creating videos and again within that span of time more things are actually coming up right. So the research that are specifically happening in the AI field is quite amazing specifically in the generative AI field. If I probably see the hype cycle, generative AI is also in the peak, you know, a lot of startups are probably working into this. Now, let me go ahead and talk about code interpreter. What exactly is code interpreter? Okay. And for that, I'll share my screen. Okay. Now code interpreter, the functionality from this open AI is that it is probably including a plugin for chat GPT that will allow the AI that is present inside this chat GPT to perform different, different uh, work, right? And that are all related to coding. Let's say, I'll say, I'll, I'll upload a, let's say I want to solve a problem statement. I have this particular uh, train.csv file. What I will do, I will try to upload it over here and I'll say, hey, perform the detailed exploratory data, data analysis along with the visualization charts for this particular data set. Automatically what this entire chat GPT will now do is that it'll start writing the code. Before we did not have this functionality, but now you have it. And you'll only be able to access it if you have that $20 subscription. So guys, before I go ahead, I really want to make a quick, quick announcement regarding our full stack data science pro batch with the job assurance program, which is starting from 12th August, 2023. The class timings will be from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. every Saturday and Sunday. And after that, from 12 to 2, we'll be having the doubt clearing session. So if you are really much interested in uh, becoming a data scientist or a data analyst here, we have also included modules like LLMs, Open, open AI and many more things. Uh, along with that, we are going to learn about Python programming language. We are going to learn about machine learning, deep learning, computer vision, NLP and all. So if you are interested to become a full stack data scientist, I will be providing you all the information regarding this batch in the description of this particular video. Thank you. Right Now in order to enable it, what you need to do? First of all, we'll enable it. Okay. Then I will show you multiple examples and it is quite powerful guys. You will love it. Right. And out of all the points that I'm probably going to discuss it, uh, uh, the third or fourth point is specifically for data scientists and what all things you can actually do. Okay. So just let's have a look onto this. Okay. First of all, go to the settings here. You have something called as beta features and here you just enable this code interpreter. As soon as you enable it. Okay. You will start using it. Okay. And for this code interpreter has been included in GPT four. Okay. Right now uh, in GPT 3.5, you don't have this in GPT four. Just click on this. It is uh, uh, like hovering to the uh, the default section over here instead of default you just go and click on code interpreter okay so this is right now in beta stage now see the power what all things i can probably do okay so here is an amazing research paper i know you don't like to read research papers right but uh, this is what is the research paper that has probably led to the invention of transformers and right now whatever gpt 3.5 4 you have this all are based on the transformer architecture now, if you really want to understand this, let's see how it is possible. Obviously by reading it, uh, it'll take more amount of time. But if you really want to have a quick summary about it and all, what I will do, I'll go to the chat GPT. I will upload this PDF. So let me just go ahead and upload this PDF. So I will uploaded in this PDF over here. Now uploading this PDF over here. Now what happens is that now since code interpreter already a plugin is there. Now I'll just ask the question. Let's say that uh, can you explain explain me about the research paper about the research paper in simple words okay so this is what is the question and i'm putting up this question now what will it will do whatever the ai is probably there now it will first of all try to understand the task okay it what it will do from this particular pdf it may apply ocr it will read all the text and then probably it will understand all the text and then it will send all those texts to probably a specific model and through that you will probably get a summarized information about the explanation about this research paper right so i will just go ahead and execute it now just see the magic over here can you explain me about the research paper in simple words sure i'll read through the document first now here you can see the code will be written so here you can see the pi pdf pdf file reader is happening so it is probably creating a environment over there and then it is started writing a Python script itself. And suppose let's say if it, it executes some kind of code 
and it gets some kind of warnings and all see attention is all you need this all things are basically there the paper is titled as attention is all you need now you get the entire information it is written by a team of researchers mainly from google brain google research as well as the university of toronto the pair pair represents this the, all these things all the information are basically there right and as you know chat gpt 4.5 it will take usually some time so i think it's still generating the response right so here it has basically read it it is providing you a simple information about it simple explanation about this specific research paper okay isn't it amazing and the best thing is that it is understanding that task then it is probably writing this python script that is required for that task okay so any research paper or any mathematical equation let's say you have a specific mathematical equation in some pdf format upload it and tell them okay to solve the top five uh, so top five problem statement it will give you the answer with respect to that also okay now this is quite amazing okay now let me just go ahead and create a new chat and let me show you one more one more way okay so let's say over here i will probably say plot a parabola curve with the equation with the equation y is equal to x to the power of 2 i think to the power of 2 i can basically write like this now let's see whether the code interpreter will understand it will start writing the python code over here and then you have this amazing thing right see this very nice here's the plot parabola curve this all information this is the code right now see let's say that this code does not work then what it will do it will still go to backtrack way and it will probably try to find out another way and here you will be able to see even this chat gpt right ai has access to so many different kind of python libraries right uh can you show me the same example with cborn library let's say whether it has access to cborn or not cborn library amazing right so now you are telling the ai to specifically work for you okay and also validate the results and tell you okay so here you will be able to see even started and this is what is the cborn content right it is imported cborn libraries and if i probably say that if you have like how many packages you specifically have it has so many different different packages i was just seeing a twitter account where it was showing that it has more than access to 3000 packages uh, with respect to the python so definitely a lot of work can be actually done okay now this is just a start for the data scientist still there are a lot of many things with respect to a data scientist so obviously many people wants to perform machine learning deep learning or any kind of task but the most difficult thing is about the edn feature engineering so i'm just giving one data set this data set is from this bike sharing uh, data set bike sharing demand from kaggle now what i'll do is that please provide please perform a detailed exploratory data analysis data analysis along with and provide different different visualization charts now so guys now what i'm i have given the message over here please perform a detailed exploratory data analysis and provide visualization charts okay so once i go ahead and probably click this now you will be able to see uh, chat gpt will automatically take this training data and it will do all the necessary task okay it can give you the results it can give you the answers everything and the best thing about this is that it also gives you observations now this is super super important i have already taught you during eda right the main aim specifically is about observations and you specifically give the good observations over here with respect to each and every task you do let's say that i'm just doing df dot head i'm seeing all the details over here so these are my observations with respect to my visualization now this will continue to go ahead now the first step let's continue with more detailed analysis we'll check for missing values look at the summary statistics perform visual visual analysis of the data so powerful it is for data scientists just imagine we used to do all these things manually now here you are able to get all the informations and here see automatically they say there are no missing values in the data set which is great as it means we don't need to perform any imputation for the missing data so it will also provide you guidance with respect to the imputation purpose now here you can see that how quickly you are probably able to get the results which is amazing which is just 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 amazing right and uh, this is super important for a data scientist now here also you will be able to see 
I'm able to get all the information with code and it also does backtrack. Okay, now let's proceed with the visual analysis of the data. We'll generate the following plots. All these things are automatically done. And here also you can see the daytime column has successfully got converted into daytime. So some amount of feature engineering is also done. I think it also performs well with respect to the feature engineering. And here is all your entire plots, which looks absolutely good, right? Now this is super, super amazing, guys. Just imagine. Uh, I don't know, just in some days you <laughs> open AI may sell you robots, robots, right? If that robots are connected to Wi-Fi, you just need to ask them, hey, Jarvis, do this thing for me and automatically start doing it, you know? Uh, this is with respect to code interpreter. I don't know what all products may come in the future, but the future is really bright, you know? And here you're just telling the AI to do each and everything. See how beautifully it has also constructed the box plot over here. Everything is there. Some kind of errors if you are getting it is a kind of warnings. And here you can see that it is also created a local environment is currently working with Python 3.8. So here on it is executing it, it is seeing what all visualization diagram it basically shows. And here also you can see, right, the next, uh, the create a bar plots for the categorical column. So each and every feature, it is probably doing the detailed EDA, right, which is absolutely very, very, very good. Now this is definitely powerful guys with respect to the code interpreter. Now the first thing, what people will start thinking, will I lose my job because now the AI is doing everything, but it is helping you do, do most of the things now. You can quickly complete your work. Uh, always understand, AI should not be an enemy of human. AI should be a friend of human, right? And with the help of AI, human is able to do its uh, work very, very much quickly. Now here you can see this correlation matrix, the co correlation chart, how beautiful it looks. If you probably want to use it, you can probably use this specific code. So all the things is there. Uh, this is what was uh, when the code interpreter was not there, right? Uh, probably chat GPT would give you some kind of summary, everything. Let's say the code is not working, but here the code is working. And then the code interpreter is basically giving you all the things. As suggested, if somebody asks you in the interview also, what is code interpreter? It is a plugin for chat GPT that allows you to communicate with the AI to probably know and code, add, uh, analyze code, create charts, files, perform mathematical calculations, many more things as such, right? So this looks absolutely fine. Here you can see time series, bike rental. I don't think so. Manually, you'll be able to get better EDA than this, where it has basically explored each and everything. Now let's try some more thing. And uh, uh, not only this, uh, this, this code interpreter is also very good at uh, modifying images with respect to images, uh, uh, with respect to color and all, right? So I will just try to use one of the image of mine. So let's see. So this is the image that I have over here. Okay. And uh, this image, what I will do is that I will just say, create a five seconds GIF, okay? With zoom in with zoom in, with slow zoom in, with slow zoom in, okay? Now, if I'm telling this task, right? It has the image, now it will start writing the code. Here it is saying to create a GIF with slow zoom in and it will perform the following steps, this, this, uh, the library that is will be used as image IO. And here for the sake of example, this, please note that zoom in effect will, uh, will be created by cropping the images gradually. Now it starts writing the code, right? And it is also able to create the GIF and many things like you can probably read a PDF, you can do multiple things, you can practice multiple things. This this entire uh, you know, code interpreter also has a feature of OCR. So if you probably give a PDF, it will be able to extract the details. If you probably give a handwritten notes, it will be able to extract the details and probably solve it to you. So now here is your uh, GIF. Here you can see, let's see uh, whether I'll be able to get the GIF or not. And uh, I will probably download the GIF. So this is the GIF that I've actually got. And let's see, this has got downloaded. This is good. And here you have, see this, five seconds. <laughs> That's very nice, right? Quickly, uh, you're able to get this, right? A zoom in or zoom out feature also, you can probably do it, okay? I can probably say zoom in or zoom. So code interpreter, definitely check it out, guys. Uh, you should definitely explore this. Uh, and you'll be able to explore this only if you have that $20 subscription with respect to the open AI. Uh, but at the end of the day, understand, I'm really much excited what may happen in the future. Definitely open AI is doing an amazing, amazing work, uh, you know, with how uh, we will be doing coding in the future. 
how helpful it will specifically specifically be for us you know and this is what uh, i'm really much interested in and to see that what all things uh, will happen or what all things will basically come in the future it is providing you almost each and every functionality uh, even the kind of python code that it requires that is also there right that is very very good that is very very much amazing so i hope uh, you like this particular video this was it from my side i'll see you all in the next video have a great day thank you one all take care bye bye